let us start with our Red Robin spiciest moment of the week because it's a hot one this week, just like Red Robin. Now, have you ever walked into a hotel in an Airbnb and you're like, if these walls could talk, what would they tell you? Well, don't worry. Megan Fox has let us all know on her Instagram. She posted a photo in front of a table at a rented Airbnb that she does not own and says, when I tell you that this table at this Airbnb saw some things, red face sweating emoji. MGK, her boyfriend stepped into the chat and said, I'm really glad that's not our table anymore. Now, I... Uh, What do you think happened on this table, Sarah, that left it so unusable for even Machine Gun Kelly? I mean, if we know anything about these two, it's that they 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 are not lacking passion. Um, so I think it's a little NSFW, uh, whatever went down on this table. And I just have to say, like, do we think this is good press for Airbnb? Do we think the person who owns this Airbnb is mortified? Will, will the stands try to find this very location? There's a lot of questions and potential implications of this this, you know, sex fest on the table creating waves. I mean, I personally don't want to touch it, but I want to see this table in question in person. In the museum, maybe? A museum? The mu- sex in museum mu- in New York? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Museum of Sex. Gwen Flamberg, um, do you think this is a hot, spicy post, or do you wish this would go away? I feel like you like it a little bit. Here's the thing. I like those two because they keep us on our toes. It's very predictable, like, where they're going to be going. But it's also kind of fun. I shudder to think about what happens on that table. And now it makes me like a little bit more freaked out when I step into an Airbnb. Mm. Like what crazy goth sex spurts might have been in the room before me. Well, let us move on uh, to someone else who had a shocking moment. Jen Shaw, so glad we can bring her up again. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, now legend and Ponzi scheme creator. We have seen- Allegedly. Oh, oh, sorry. (laughs) Allegedly, but like- but like definitely, but allegedly. (laughs) Um, We have received a Shaw amazing clip from the new Housewives of Salt Lake City that shows her arrest when federal agents descended on the cast back in March. And, you know, Us Weekly got it pretty right, which was really, really great. So she has been accused of running a multi-state telemarketing scheme, and she can be seen revealing to her fellow cast members that she says, I have some bad news. I just got a phone call and I need to go. And then we see federal (laughs) agents swarming her house. We see all of the women talking about it later. Jen Shaw, former fan and now just interested voyeur, Sarah Huron, what did you think of the clip? I mean, it was everything. It had the FBI. It had helicopters. It had Jen trying to get one of the women to take her mic off. Um, It had a housewife on the run. And it it just, I mean, it was everything. And I think this season, as we're seeing in Beverly Hills, when there's legal and real life things that these women can't run from and can't hide from, it's horrible for their victims. But as far as an entertainment value, you can't beat it. And Gwen Flamberg, I have a feeling that this might have converted you. You hear Ponzi scheme, you hear helicopters, you hear federal agents and housewives in Versace. Are you turning in? Well, now I've got to watch Utah. I've got to get into (laughs) Salt Lake City. Now, my question is, does Bravo vet these women or does Bravo vet these women? It seems like it's a requirement to be a narcissist, the runner of a Ponzi scheme, an evader of taxes. You know, all these women kind of have these criminal minds (laughs) where maybe they just want to make a diet alcoholic beverage. (laughs) 